The United States Federal Bureau of Investigation arrested the CEO of an Arjun firm, Invictus Group, Obi-Wan Neil KK, for conspiracy to commit computer and wire fraud. Marshall Wood of the FBI dedicated 13 months to the investigation of fraudulent wire transfers that amounted to $12 million. Following a complaint of an email compromise leading to wire transfers totaling $11 million from Unitrack Holding Limited, FBI traced the phishing email containing a web link that was received by Unitrack Chief Financial Officer. Obi-Wan Neil Keke was found complicit after the FBI took the following steps. Step 1. The FBI conducted open source queries for iconoclast1960 at gmail.com which was linked to the phishing email. Step 2. The email which was listed as the registrant for several internet domains including misspelling of the official email of potential partners of Unitrack ASM International replaced the L for I. Step 3. The person whose name registered www.emmaindustries.com denied knowledge of iconoclast1960 at gmail.com claiming he never registered an internet domain. Step 4. An FBI source linked iconoclast1960 at gmail.com to another email phishing scheme establishing that it was owned exclusively for receiving stolen login credentials. Step 5. An Arjun subject was linked to iconoclast1960 at gmail.com which was also linked to another fraudulent wire transfer of $108,470 from Red Wing Shoe Company. Step 6. For the probe revealed hundreds of emails and chat messages with co-conspirators with over 600 email account passwords as well as copies of passports and driver's license that were stolen for identity theft schemes. Step 7. The FBI sought the help of Google and it came to light that obiwane at gmail.com is the recovery email for iconoclass1960 at gmail.com. Step 8. Through popular Nigerian blog, Nairaland, username Invictus OB listed Obiwane at gmail.com as its contact and linked to a Twitter page at Invictus OB. Step 9. Twitter page at Invictus OB revealed the identity of the user as Obiwane OKK in Abuja, Nigeria and associated him with a company called Invictus Group. His Twitter page stated that he maintained an Instagram page with the same name. Step 10. From Seychelles to London to Washington, FBI retraced OB's step from its Instagram page which fits perfectly with Google's information. The IP sessions as received from Google for iconoclast 960 at gmail.com matched Invictus OB's location. Step 11. A warrant was issued and Obi-Wan Neil KK was subsequently arrested on the 6th of August 2019 in the US before he was scheduled to return to Nigeria and arraigned the next day. The magistrate handling the criminal matter, Teresa Buchanan, on the 7th of August during his arraignment granted Invictus OB permission to see a dentist in custody after he complained of a toothache. Roots TV, Nigeria.